Good morning girl. Today in this video I would like to explain about, about constructors. So first of all what is constructors and what is the use of constructors. So here constructors is nothing but a block of code same like a method. But except two things. It has no written types and it, ha it is has same name as class name. And here uh, to use the constructors in Java there is one syntax. So the syntax is uh, I create one class. Class, class name suppose I will take one and public so here constructor name should, uh, should be same as class name so here we write whatever we want to do in the block of code so this is the syntax for constructor ok in this constructor there are two types default constructor and parameterized constructor so first of all what is default constructor a constructor which is have no parameters then it is called default constructor for example if i take this code um, here i am right i am just uh, print this constructor i am just uh, pass a message in this block of code some executing uh, Okay, and in the in the uh, uh, let's uh, I will take uh, my block my method here. Uh, class hello. So here my class name is hello, and here I write my method. So here I am creating an object for class, this one, object name is i and so whenever we create an object automatically uh, it will call the constructor. So here I am not pass any arguments to these parameters, so it have no parameters. So this is called default constructor. Okay, and the next one is a uh, parameterized constructor. Okay, in uh, let's see this example again. If I take here int i and here int a, and I will assign this i a to i, and here if I pass 10, then uh, then it then assign to this a and a assign to this i, and here I am print this one. So here in this constructor has some parameters. So it is called parameterized constructor. In the constructor there is one more topic is there constructor vowel loading. So the next one is constructor vowel loading. So what is constructor vowel loading? Constructor vowel loading is a technique of more than one constructor with different parameters. So they are arranged in a way that each constructor performs different tasks. They are, they are, they are uh, differentiated by the JVM uh, depending on their parameter list and their types. So here there are three types of constructor vowel loading are there. Number constructor vowel loading, data type constructor vowel loading and sequence constructor vowel loading. So now let's see the example for number constructor vowel loading. Okay. Here I am creating one class. Class name 1. And I am take uh, class variables. Okay. And here I am creating one constructor. And I think this way. Okay. Okay. Now I am creating another constructor here. So constructor name should be always as class name. And here I am passed to parameters. Let's take TV and the Okay, and I'm assigning this to class variables. Okay, and I'm doing this. Okay, and here I'm creating one main class.
क्लास नेम हेलो एंड मेन मेथड constructors and in here i am creating one main class and 
double dead weight. So it will cause second constructor and uh, uh, ten uh, A gets uh, A for ten, ten for A and ten point five for B. So these are all assigned to this I and J and they print the output like ten and ten point five. Okay. If I pass, see here. If I pass integer value one, okay, I'm right here. Uh, one double value and one care value, then it will call second constructor and we will get the output like 10, 10.5 and S. So this is uh, about that type constructed vowel loading. Okay? And the next one is sequence constructed vowel loading. So okay, uh, the last one is sequence constructed vowel loading. So let's see, uh, first of all, what is sequence constructed vowel loading? It's nothing but jumbling the data types. Uh, they uh, change the order of the data types in the constructors. Let's see the example, then you will get understand. Uh, here, I am take only integer value and one float. Integer and one float, very good. So, here, A and B. Okay, are you clear? One integer variable and the other one is float variable. Here, I pass two variables, int value and float value. Okay. Okay. I am assigning these variables to the class variables here. And I am printing this one. A and B. Okay. So this is one constructor. And in another constructor, I am pass in reverse. Sorry, float here. Okay. And here I'm passed float value from variable L and one integer value and that's it. Okay. So I'm assigning these values to class variables. A dot M and B L. Okay. Here I bring this and B. Okay. Okay. See, if I pass here, if I pass one integer value and one float value, it will call first constructor and it will execute this code. Uh, if, uh, for example, I pass here 10 integer value and one float value 10.5. Okay. Uh, here I will get 10 and J will get 10.5. So uh, they are assigned to these variables and print, the, print in this uh, as 10 and 10.5. Okay. If I pass first float value and then integer value, then it will call second constructor and I will get uh, value 10.5 and I am get 10 integer value. So here assign again to A and B and they print like this. 10 and 10.5. So this is the output for this program. So this is about sequence constructor power loading. So this is all about constructors and constructor power loading. Thank you.